Hello everyone, welcome back to Subsistence. It is early morning. I have been doing a bit of prep work. Um, we had some questions come up last week, or I brought some questions up. Um, one was, did you guys like the, the balcony area with the glass roof on it? I didn't love it. Uh, one happy camper also said, you know, it just isn't working. Of some of the others, not so much. You know, they didn't really love it. So I went ahead and moved the glass roof pieces back to the actual roof, of course. Uh, another question was, how do I keep the Molotovs from going over the top of the wall? And, you know, injuring the chicken and the animal housing and all that stuff. And a um, lot of suggestions for that. Very, very thankful for you guys for those suggestions. Um, Beach Bum had one that was, you know, use the elevator track as sort of a pole or a pillar to put up there so, um, you know, it wouldn't look like the roof was floating. Really loved that idea. One Happy Camper also suggested that um, we use half wall uh, for a type of a pillar uh, type thing. I do have some examples of that up for you guys in just a minute. I was just chopping a bit of wood. Um, I did do, like I said, some prep work to get some things going. But um, I'll show you what we've come up with in here. I will, of course, leave this. I won't make a decision on that. I will let you guys, you know, do that. I'm okay with what you decide as long as you guys are patient with me to get the resources to do that. So from back here, you can see this is, I think Scotty and Alan just said, you know, put up a half wall or an extra wall on the top and I think this is what they meant by that this would be the um, cheapest way the simplest way to fix that um, I love that idea I think it will look great when um, it's upgraded to you know this particular type of wall I think it would look good um, don't see an issue with any of these ideas uh, Beach Bum's idea right here um, use the elevator tract it would look like you know the uh, metal already very very expensive idea but very very nice I would have never have thought in a million years to use that the um, the railings here also fit behind it quite, quite nicely I just don't love the fact that the roof or this particular roof still doesn't sit on it I don't like that the back side of this roof is open. I don't know what I would have to do to fix that. Maybe put a half wall there. I don't, even, I don't even know if you can do that. Don't know if this game will allow you to do that. However, um, this is not a horrible idea. I do like this part of the idea. Just not this openness back here. If you can put that on the back of that, it would look great. I think it would look okay. Um, I really do like this as well. This is the suggestion from one happy camper just to use this every now and then not um, every foundation of course you can see there's a damaged foundation but um, this would just be something that you would use like every now and then it would be you know just to give the indication that it's actually doing some type of structural support I do love this ceiling piece um, I like the fact that it looks great on the outside as well as on the inside of the base I don't know how you would work that on the very ends of the base down here with this rounded piece. I don't know how it would look. Um, that would be an issue for further down the road, of course. Um, but we have this option. We have that option. We have this option. And this is just something that I threw out there. Uh, you can take, and I just took the foundation from there, of course. But you can put the foundation up here. It has legs. It's already supporting it. When you upgrade it to, you know, the alloy sheets, I don't think it would look horrible. Um, we can try that uh, right here's the one that is upgraded we can try just moving it and seeing what it looks like and you can put it right over the doorway here I don't particularly think that looks horrible um, at all by any means I don't know if it's something that I would want to use on every single foundation piece you know have them double stacked I don't think I would like that I don't think it would look great uh, it would be too many legs of course sticking down um, as you can see they don't you know connect with each other so it'd be two legs in each location and I don't really like that idea um, but you could always do like a foundation and then a ceiling piece and then foundation and ceiling piece you know I think that would look okay 
Um, but let me know what you guys think about this. I am going to leave all of these up except for this one and only because I have to get out the door, you know. But you can see they are damaging the railings here. This one is nearly broken at 35 hit points left. They are doing a lot of damage to this particular area. It's mostly this foundation, this foundation, the staircasing, and the railing here. Um, I know it's because they're trying to get to the BCU. I know that. Um, I don't really understand how that's going to help them. I guess they think it could possibly potentially destroy it at some point. I'm not quite sure about that. But anyway, that's what we have going on for the day. I will show you guys. Wow, well, turned on those lights. I will show you guys what it looks like from out here. Um, nothing really looks horrible out from out here. Um, I do like. I love the tallness from this roof piece. I don't like the inside. This one looks more streamlined and sleek, and I'm okay with that. This just looks great. I mean, I think when it's upgraded, it could look wonderful. Um, would just be a bit taller, and I really didn't want to have the wall obstructing the very top of the base, especially the glass work that we've done on that from out here. Um, however, I'm open with whatever you guys decide. I mean, if that's what you guys want to do, I'm sure we can make that happen. Um, Beach Bum's idea, like I said, very, very expensive. Um, we could potentially do like maybe three tracks on each side, three pieces of elevator track on each side. I think that wouldn't be as expensive. It would be six total. It would be about 60 pieces of scrap metal. Um, I think that's manageable. I think we can get that. It would be something we'd have to work toward, of course. But it's not something that is going to be completed overnight. Um, by any means, any of it's not going to be completed overnight. For one, I really, really hate gathering wood on camera. So, um, yeah. That's going to take some time, of course. Um, I did kill a cougar yesterday. I needed to send you to repair the bow. So I did go up to cougar country. I did also find a locked crate yesterday. Uh, it was the first one I'd found in quite some time. So this video was recorded on Monday. I asked all of those questions last week about the base. And you guys left lots of lovely comments. I really do hope some of you guys enjoyed the infected series that was out this past weekend. Um... I had a lot of fun playing the game. I did have a couple people say they would love to see that as a series, that they would like to see how, you know, I went with the game and how it worked out for me. Um, so that may be something that, you know, if I have time and when I have time, I would try to get out a couple more episodes of that. Hopefully it'll be this weekend, guys. I really would like to make that a weekend series. Um, again, all of these episodes are going to be pre-recorded for the weekend. There's not going to be a chance for me to correct anything until the following weekend. That is a bear. I thought that was not a bear, but it is. Um, there's a chicken there. I'm not quite sure if the chicken is dead or not. It isn't, and I really, really need that chicken. Okay, I do have some ammo in the shotgun. Hopefully one shot is all that's needed. Really need to get this chicken. Want to get the scrap, want to get this crate, and then we'll worry about the bear. Uh, do need the bandage, of course. Okay, so we have my beach cleaned up for now. We did kill the wolf down on the beach front. Um, everything is cleaned up on the beach. Um, you guys left quite a few comments on the Infected series. I uh, really do appreciate that again. Um, I want to say thank you to all of you guys who even took the time, you know, to give it a thumbs up or whatever the case was if you watched it. Um, if you gave it a thumbs up, if you commented, I really do appreciate all of that. Um, can't thank you guys enough for your support. It is super, super humbling to have that type of support from people you don't even really know. Um, I love the, you know, the, the banter we have back and forth. Albion is just hilarious. There was a, a point where I killed a pig with a spear. And I said something along the lines of, one well-placed spear to the face and we can be friends. And she's like, oh, I don't think I want to be your friend. <laughs> that was a really, really hilarious comment. It made my day. Um, Sunday was a bit of a stressful day for me. We have some family things going on. And, um... You know, we have some, some family. My husband has some family with some health issues. And 
things like that, and it was just a very stressful day. He's not feeling well. Uh, my husband's uncle isn't feeling well. Uh, you know, he has stage three lung cancer. I've mentioned that in Discord before to some of you guys, and, and you know, ask for prayer for him, but, you know, he's not feeling well. He had some really strong chemo that he had to take, and that has really, really made a different person out of him. You know, anybody, you know, that's had to deal with cancer and chemo and things like that. You kind of know what's going on with that. Yeah. But, um, yeah, so that was going on Sunday. And then the comment that she left just really, really made me smile. It, it gave me a good chuckle out of that. I really did enjoy that comment. But, um, yeah, just the simple things like that, guys, really, really make my day. That's why I love the, um, the comments that you leave. I try, to resp I try to respond to all of them. I have health issues of, of my own, and sometimes late at night I just fall asleep and forget to, you know, check all the comments. And if that's the case, I do apologize for that. I don't want to feel like I'm leaving anyone out. And, um, yeah, so catching you guys up on Monday is always a fun thing, right? <laughs> So, um, yeah, but anyway, let's get out and do a bit of looting. We might go over this direction to see if we can find a locked crate. Um, we did find one over at my uh, little locked crate area that, you know, I really, really enjoy on the other side of the lake. Really need the scrap, of course, if we're going to do one of the ideas. The scrap is going to become increasingly important. Um, there's a wolf. Hopefully we can avoid some of these animals. The meat is not a problem. We do have our fridge fully stocked. Um, we do have some meat in the other one that needs to be cooked. So yeah, there's some plant fiber here. Hopefully we don't just overlook our locked crate. Uh, it is Monday, of course. I do have, you know, some things I need to get done after recording this. We are in spring here, so lovely. The weather's 73 degrees. Um, it's about noon-ish while I'm recording this. Um, it's about 73 degrees. They're supposed to be in the 80s tomorrow. Super, super excited about that. Stinking fern. Um, yeah, the weather is very, very lovely. So being in spring, that means we have to cut the grass. My husband works crazy hours, so I usually do that so he doesn't have to. And I don't mind, but there's someone shooting at me. Okay. Okay, there's lots of these guys. Almost missed that guy. Come on. Come on. Where are you guys? Missed him completely. Okay, let's heal up. Number seven and number eight. We're about to get these guys killed. So was there four of these guys? I didn't even try to not die there. Um, really should have healed up a little bit quicker than I did. So we have four bags. Um, do need the gears. I had lost my train of thought. Um, oh yeah, I was talking about cutting the grass. Yeah, it doesn't take too long here. I usually, or not usually, sometimes I'll help my mom and I have an aunt who is a widow and I do try to help her. Uh, occasionally, um, she she's healthy and young and all that, so she likes to do her own. But if she's having issues, I'll try to help her with that. So, uh, yeah, locked crate. I'm not seeing one, but I do see a bear down that way. Um, the locked crate can be anywhere along this area. Albion has mentioned that over on those rocks, I do think, is a great place to look for a locked crate. I didn't find those guys' campfire. Is it out? Hopefully it's out. Stinking bear. I don't really know where they came from out here, guys. 
I'm pretty sure it should have been somewhere around this area because this is where we killed them from. Or at, sorry. There's a chicken right here. Is there something chasing me? I hear you. Okay. So I'll just go up by this tree. I have found a locked crate up in this area before. There's a wolf up here. Uh, we can manage him. If we have to. He's only a level one. Not that I really, really want to manage him. But we can if it's necessary. He wasn't standing on top of a locked crate or anything, so hopefully we can. Okay, there's an ammo crate just up here. Okay, so I have two guys and a bear chasing me. Three crates. I'm going to have to kill these guys. There's just no way around it. Come on. I'll get you first. Give you a second. Let's butcher you guys. I know I didn't get that gun reloaded, so I'm going to have to do that again. That bear is not coming this direction right away. Let's get that reloaded. Scrap, super, super important. Becoming increasingly important every day increasingly more important every day I really just want to get these crates guys leave me alone there's a piece of scrap over here I did see it uh, there's another crate down here a building crate I want to get that as well I really hope this video wasn't just me talking about myself and my life I really really hope that that much um, however, it does seem like that. Okay, we did get some more meat. Okay, what are you? You're a chicken. I really could have used you. I think I've ended up... Did I end up putting that chicken in the animal housing that I did get earlier? I don't think so. I think I might have stuck it in the fridge. I am half crazy today. It's been an interesting, eh, interesting day, I guess. Had a lot going on in my head. Um, still no locked crate over here, guys. I know it can be on the other side of the water as well. Uh, we might even go check that out. I need to go down further on the, the beach front. Wash your hands, kind lady. I almost said kind sir. Um, in the infected, I don't think you have the option to change your character. I haven't found that option yet. I don't understand why most games have the default as a guy. Uh, a lot of girls play games as well. A lot of females. So I'm not quite sure why um, the default is set to male for the most part. I mean, I guess, ah! I guess most gamers, or the majority of the gamers are guys, maybe? Let's get bandaged up here. We've used a lot of bandages over in this area. Okay, so you have stopped running for two seconds. You can use arrows on you. Okay, we do have some more ammo back at the base for the shotgun, so it's not a huge problem. We did find some in the locked crate that we did get yesterday. I was trying to get another one today, but it's not going to happen, I don't think. Um, there's some plant fiber here. I do need plant fiber for um, cordage and for fuel bricks. I've been making a lot of those lately. Both items, I really need to get... There's a crate down here. I really need to get some more oxygen tanks if we decide to do the elevator tract. If that's what you guys want to do. Um, I need to do another pearl dive. We do need two circuit boards for those. For each of those. 
uh, probably have enough pearls to do that. I don't want to leave myself without any pearls at all. We have a, roughly 50 pearls. Uh, more meat. That's not really, really necessary. I'm not saying I don't enjoy having it, but it's not exactly necessary. There's an ammo crate right there. I was hopeful that it would only take the one shotgun round, however that wasn't the case. And I need to go ahead and reload that. And butcher you. I do have a chicken in my backpack, hopefully. It'll still be alive when we get back to the base. I'm not really expecting that to be the case. However, it would be nice if it was. The um, copper is also nice, so you're going to need that for circuit boards as well. Um, not that that's the option we're going with, guys. Just because I keep talking about it, it's the one that's going to be the most expensive. If that's the one that's chosen. Um, again, it does look really nice, but it's what whatever you guys decide. I don't mind putting in the extra work for that. Um, of course, this base has not exactly been what I ever expected. It just kind of grew on its own. It took a life of its own, which was fine. Um, it's really, really is looking nice. Pretty, especially sitting in the water like it is. I do enjoy that. I really hope Cold Games, and I know I shouldn't be saying this, but I really hope he doesn't introduce the structural integrity um, right away. I really do enjoy the fact that we can right now build any way we choose. I know that was over his back. Um, I really do enjoy that fact. Um, I like being able to build in the water like we have this season. Um, I really do enjoy that. It's not something that you have to do if you don't enjoy building that way, but I have. There's a couple more crates that I do see. Hopefully we can get those before it gets dark. Um, it is, of course, getting dark earlier because of the rain and the clouds, of course. Um, scrap. Desperately going to be needing scrap. I actually need a lot of scrap right away. Um, I need to get some more of the alloy sheets and things done and more railings. Really need to get that done. Uh, I think both of those require some form of um, scrap metal. Uh, more plant fiber here. I'm getting hungry, of course. Um, no protein, no fruits and vegetables. I don't want to eat the apple. I do know I have that. I also have protein bars as well as berries, but we are right here. I think we'll be okay. Let me just get this plant fiber. And more rain. Another chicken. Hopefully that wasn't one of mine that is that has escaped. Ooh, and it's a live chicken. Come on. Ooh, scrap. Okay, let's get inside the base. We are very, very hungry. Probably going to start taking damage very soon for malnutrition. You lived. So apparently I did put the chicken in there. I didn't put it in the fridge. We have three in there now, and I only had two uh, when I started this day. We have a lot of meat that goes in here, which is nice. You and you go in here. Not the water. I need that. I like keeping six berries on me for whatever reason. That just sounds great. We haven't really needed the fire in a while, so I just let it go out, and then I refueled it. Or I actually extinguished it and refueled it. Um, let's turn you on to get this going. We did get 11 pieces of scrap metal today, which was nice. Um, 
really do need that. We have, with the 11, we have 38. <laughs> so pretty much we desperately need those. Um, just placing a few things away. We do have some more gears. We're getting pretty close to the amount of gears that I would love to have. Um, 60 gears would be great. 90 gears would be better. I would love to get that um, so we can do the sort of ending to this series. And one seed. Now what did I put in here that really didn't act like it went there? Uh, everything seems to be doing great. This is our level 4 bow. Super excited to have that. Scotty sent a thing in Discord that showed the amount of repair materials that are needed for each item. And as you can see, my bow is desperately needing repaired. And the level 3 bow doesn't require a ton more than what the level 2 bow requires. Um, adhesive we're trying to make. I think it requires a bit more adhesive and a bit more yeah we're taking damage from being malnourished. Wasn't surprised by that. I expected it honestly. Let's go have a bite to eat and we'll just have this roast chicken dinner. Seems well enough. We'll have a drink of water from here. Okay. We're not malnourished anymore. We are doing great. Our health is still a bit low. We've had an interesting day, of course. Uh, what else does it take to repair this bow? We do need six scraps. So, yeah, finding all that scrap today, I mean, it allowed us to repair our bow, I guess. Okay, so there's that. We have a fully repaired level two bow. And it is getting dark outside. So we did remove these roof pieces. I do like this better. Uh, I think it looks a bit cleaner. Again, the um, the roof pieces, I just placed them up there. I did place the one extra that was always an extra piece right over the elevator shaft, just as a placeholder for now. Um, I do enjoy getting being able to get up on the roof to kind of look around, but as you can see, it's just right there as a placeholder for now. It didn't really fit in there, but it's okay. Okay, so I do need to turn on the generators. I'm just going to use the stairs for this one. Let's turn you guys on. Get you going. Get some more power into the base. Our garden is doing really well. I did replant a couple of things overnight. Uh, probably have tomatoes for the most part ready to pick. This is where I did take the elevator shaft piece from. I didn't make a new piece. I didn't move it. So... We do have a couple of tomatoes that are ready today. I did replant a couple of things, some un uh, cotton seeds here. We have tomatoes and potatoes here. Um, I think this was a medicinal plant. It is, and I think there's nothing left here. So maybe soon we'll replant everything up here. But for now, guys, I'm going to go ahead and end this episode here. I want to thank you so much for hanging out with me today. I really do appreciate all of your support on this channel and on this series as well. I hope you enjoyed this episode. I hope you're looking forward to future episodes. And I can't wait to catch you guys in the next one. Until then, have yourselves a wonderful, wonderful day. I'm just going to feed the chickens. <laughs>